Hey, what's everyone? This is going to be my room tour slash gaming setup. And as you guys can tell, the first thing you see when you first walk in my room is my green screen, which it's actually been quite a while since I've used it after upgrading from my old camera to this camera. And I've only used it once for a side project that included using green screen effects. Now below that is my white screen, which this is what you guys are actually used to me using when I'm doing my unboxing video. So right now it's tucked in underneath there. And every time I do an unboxing video, all I do is take it out, lay it on the ground, and I do my unboxings right there. Now, right beside that is a gaming chair that my friend got me a couple of months ago. And besides that is my tripod that I use to set up my camera every single time I do a normal video. And over here is my recliner. Now, I've had this recliner for a good four years, and it's been really, really helpful. It's been really great. All my friends really enjoy it. It's really comfortable. It's not the best in terms of looks, but it's really comfortable. And I love the fact that you could actually lay it all the way back and lay in it practically like a bed. So it's really great to have something like that for backup. I'm right here, I can't remember what these things are called, but it's one of those things that you can rest your legs or your feet on when you're trying to relax or kick back or if your back's hurting or if you just really, really want to get comfortable when you're watching a movie or something. Over here is a box of mostly junk. There's a VHS tape, a box for something that I bought a long time ago, a bunch of books, there's a headset, skull candy pair of headphones, a broken headset, and just a whole bunch of other stuff. And in the corner here we have a trash can. Now the reason I put it there was because it's most convenient and that way my friends don't have to walk all the way across the room. And it's just really, really close and they could just move it anywhere around here when they're sitting in the chair over here. Now as you can see, here's my closet. I have some belts over here and here are my clothes. You guys are probably used to me wearing those two shirts mostly. And the reason I do has to do with the way my, my camera sets up the coloring and the brightness and all that stuff. And those two shirts just always really give me the best results. Now before we move over there, now I really, really love this sword. Now, what it's actually in right now is actually from another sword that was really, really cheap and that actually broke. And I decided to put it in this one and actually fit really well. And as you can tell, you could actually attach it to a belt or something. And of course, my favorite part is the handle overall. And over here is a Chinese calendar. Now, someone gave this to me for free. And I'm not going to lie, I really thought it would be a really great addition to the room. And I really, really think it has. Go ahead and put this up. Now the first thing you see up here is a box and a bunch of light bulbs. Now the box is nothing but a bunch of holiday cards, birthday cards that I've collected over the years. And the light bulbs are actually from the lighting umbrellas that I use to eliminate the shadows when I'm doing green screen effects. Because the hardest part to key out is these shadows. And it's really great to have that really great lighting to eliminate those when you're trying to do green screen effects. Now in these three drawers, it's mostly just junk. There's empty pill bottles. There's re-wetting drops. USB cables to devices that don't exist anymore. There's some screws, tools, chapstick, just a bunch of junk. And there's also a bunch of receipts from things that I've bought in over the years. Next thing down is, as you can tell, there's a sign that says, keep calm and rock on. And that's where I have a bunch of my cologne, actually. Now, one of my past videos, people thought I collected, but I really don't. They're just things that I get as gifts for my birthday, Christmas, and other holidays throughout the year. And below that is my dressing shoes. And below that is actually a box where I have all my leftover coax cables, HDMI, audio cables, video cables, Ethernet cables, all kinds of stuff in there. Now on top of this drawer is an old mouse pad. It's a plastic one. It has two different sides. And I guess you could say I don't use that right now, so I just have it right here in case I ever need it. And in the top drawer is a bunch of deodorant and an old cell phone from like 2002. And in the second drawer is where I have all my swimming trunks and pajamas and all that kind of stuff. And the bottom one, I have a couple of leftover Game Informers in there, as well as socks and that kind of stuff. Now, in this filing cabinet, most of the drawers have just junk. This one has a box. There's a bag right there. And there's an old doorknob that I recently replaced. And now here's a box to the new light bulb I got. Here's a big roll of tape a belt, extension cable, and an empty container of breath mints. Now the bottom one is full of nothing but Game Informers actually going all the way back from January 2005 until just about now. So I guess you could say I've been kind of collecting them, but over the years they've really became less and less important to me. But it's really great to just have those there. Now here's my guitar amp right here. Go ahead and move over here. 
Now, as you guys can tell, I have three guitars. I have two electrics, the one in the corner over here and the one right here, the red and black one, and I have a classical guitar in the middle. So this is one of the things I've been wanting to tell you guys. That's one of the reasons why you sometimes notice that my fingernails are not might be a bit longer than most people's, especially my thumbnails. And that's because when I learned how to play guitar, I was taught to pluck by using my fingernails, or at least my thumbnail. And plus, when I try to do guitar picks, the problem is that they run out so quickly. They disappear, the dogs chew them up, they drop, they get stepped on, people borrow them and never give them back, and they just cost money and I kept on having to keep on and keep on replacing them. And your fingernails, I guess you could say, are much better to pluck with as far as classical guitars go, and it's just a lot cheaper and it doesn't really cost you any money. Over here is where I got a bunch of clothes that I don't wear except specific times of the year. And the orange and the white box is mostly just junk, old sound cards, ethernet cards, all kinds of stuff from like really old computers. There is a CPU cooler box from one that I used recently, but the fan died on it, so I'm going to go and replace it with another one. And there's the box for the gaming mouse that I got recently. Now those two boxes right there are from two CPUs, the one on the right is the AMD Phenom 2 X6 1090T 6-core processor. And this one is the AMD FX8350 8-core processor. And down here, there's actually two boxes. I can't remember what's over there, but in this one is actually all the rest of my cologne. So if you thought that was a lot what you saw before, this is actually where all the rest of it is. Now here's my TV setup. This is my 32 inch LCD TV from Westinghouse. Here is my batteries actually. Here's two batteries that I use on my camera when this one runs out and here's the charger. And here's the container where I put all my weights for my gaming mouse. And over here is my TV remote. Three ultra fine point pins. I really love writing with those. Here's my wallet as well as my glasses case. Now the moment that a lot of people have been waiting for is my Xbox or 60. Now I actually replaced the fans pretty recently. They were starting to die out. At least one of them did on the old ones. And they still light up blue. And these ones are just generally better built quality. Now the front two are intake fans. And the one in the back is actually an outtake fan. Or exhaust fan. And the reason I did that was because that way it could, they could blow directly on the CPUs. And that one could just help exhaust the heat and everything. Now the reason I got that thing in the middle is because that way it could separate the heat and everything. That way these ones don't just intake the same hot air that that one is exhausting because it would just keep on recycling and getting hotter over time and it would just really be bad. Now the reason I got the disk drive kind of cut out right here is because when I had five Xbox 360s, the main problem was being able to play the same game on all systems without having to spend hundreds of dollars getting like five copies of every game. So I figured I just install the game on the hard drive and then once it's done reading from the disc for a few seconds, take the disc out after it starts reading from the hard drive, take it out, put it in the next system and just do the same thing again. And that's how I was able to actually play on all the systems with just one copy of the game. So as you guys can tell, I have two Xbox or 60 controllers right here and have an Ethernet extender right there. And I'm really happy I was able to get that for like 10 bucks, especially since it's built really well. It's made out of aluminum or really hard metal. And it's really great to use because sometimes the routers limit how much bandwidth each Ethernet port is using. And I just like to use as much as possible. And back there is where I have all my PS2 games, driver CDs, software CDs that came with many devices such as networking equipment, USB devices, gaming mice, motherboards, and all kinds of stuff that I've collected over the years. And this right here is where I have all my Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards, as well as some hard-to-find Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess cards, actually. And as you can tell, I got two decks right here. Now this one I need to make sure uh, change out the sleeves so then they all match. I guess I reorganized the deck without changing out the sleeves on some of the cards. So I have some extra of these sleeves, and I'm going to go ahead and change them out with the black one so then that way they'll all match. Over here, you guys can pause it wherever you want. That's where a bunch of my games and movies are. And over here, it's actually just junk. It's a bunch of white paper as well as the power brick for my Xbox 360. I'm gonna go ahead and move over here. Now, as you guys can tell, the first thing you see is a whole bunch of stacks of burnable DVDs now. I've been using them recently to back up some of the video files from some of the YouTube videos, and also as well as applications, saved game projects, all kinds of stuff. Just everything that I pretty much can, so then that way when I reinstall Windows, I'll have everything backed up. 
And here is my HD PVR capture card that I used to record gameplay. Now it's a component based one, so pretty soon I'm looking to get one that has HDMI, so that way I can record full 1080p through an HDMI connection. Now here's my chair. Now as you guys can tell, it's not a regular chair. I can't remember what these kind of chairs are actually called, but they're really, really comfortable, and they're designed like a recliner, but the great thing about it is the fact that you could spin it 360 degrees so that way you don't have to lift it up, move it back, just to be able to walk off or get out of the area, especially when you're working really, really close to the computer desk and everything. And it doesn't have wheels. Instead, it actually has these round things, and it's, it's actually pretty easy to move, actually. And on the side, it has a pocket, so that's kind of a bonus. And that's probably where I should actually move the remote to, is actually on the side pocket. Now the first thing you see over here is the microphone that I've been using for quite a while on my YouTube videos. Now right now it has a pop filter and I'm looking to add a shock mount to it. And one thing I do like about it is that it actually has a headphone jack, so in case you want to plug in a pair of earphones, headphones, you can actually use it so you can monitor yourself when you're doing a live stream or YouTube video to make sure that the audio levels and the sound quality is where you want it. There's one of my speakers, and there is the case for the Gunner Gaming glasses. Now the reason I put in that case is because with the way they're designed, you really, really can't just put them inside of a regular pair of glasses, or at least not a regular glasses case. So it's really good to get those really, really big extra thick ones. And over here, here's my Galaxy S2 on a stand. That actually came with this pair of cyber acoustic speakers, so that was actually a really big bonus. And here's my mouse pad. As you can tell, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh mouse pad. And there's my gaming mouse that I got recently. Really like the fact that it pulsates the lights on it. Now, one of the reasons that I'm using this mouse pad is because, one, it's really, really large, and two, it's convenient, so that way if someone wants to duel me, it'll be just right there. And plus, even if I wanted to replace it, it would cost a lot of money just to get a mouse pad even close to this big. Over here is the Siberia V2 Pro Gaming Headset, and as you guys can tell from my review, I really, really love this headset compared to just about any other pair of 60 dollar headsets this one will just blow them away i saw this for around 70 dollars when i bought it but i've actually seen it pretty recently for as low as 60 dollars and there's the really really big extension cable that it came with now as you guys can tell over here that's where my toshiba 3 terabyte usb 3.0 external hard drive is and there's my notebook that i use to take notes of things jot down some things and just write things down overall and there's my mechanical pencil, which surprisingly people think it's a pen. And I also got some white paper underneath there that I use to take notes, or not notes, but do sketches and just draw things out if I ever feel like it. And over here is where is the Logitech G13 gamepad is. Now I don't use it as much as I used to, but I like to have it at least pretty close to the computer area, so it's really great to have it right there in case I ever need to use it. And some of you guys might actually be familiar with what this is. Now this is one of those things that you're probably used to seeing in between the car seats and cars sometimes. And someone was wanting to throw this away, so I figured, hey, you know, I'd rather keep it and I'd rather make it useful. And it would be really great to just have these cup holders. Now, right now that one has green tea in it and that one just has water. And this compartment doesn't really have anything much in it. Except the case for the glasses, wristband, or actually a thing for my uh, camera. Three-prong output, uh, CD case, just all kinds of stuff. Now right here I have a whole bunch of rechargeable AA batteries. Now I usually use them when I have friends come over so that we can play video games non-stop and don't have to worry about battery issues. And that way we could just change them out and then put them on the charger. Now the two green ones, I actually made them and they're actually a bit too thick. They're really, really hard to fit. Now it's not too hard to actually put them in if you push hard enough, but it's really hard to get them batteries out because like I said, they're just a little bit too big. I should have, I guess you could say, counted the positive side where it would stick out a little bit when I actually made them. That's pretty much that, and now I'm going to get underneath the computer. No, right here is my subwoofer, and here is the audio controller, and actually when you turn it on, it lights up blue, and it's actually pretty easy to control. It has a place for you to put your finger, and you just turn it. That's pretty much all you do, and here's the audio cable in case I want to connect my phone up to the speakers. And there is my dual-band router from Linksys, and there is an audio input, so that way I could plug in my Siberia V2 Pro Gaming headset up to the TV. I want to get some game sound from that. And sorry if it's a little bit loud, it's because I'm really close to the computer. 
And here is the computer itself. As you can tell, I got a dust filter right there with a fan on the other side that lights up red. Two fans right there that light up red. And I have some three fans in the front that light up red as well. So I got a kind of a red theme going on here. And as far as the CPU goes, I have an AMD FX8350 8 core processor. I have 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RAM at 1600 megahertz. And for the graphics cards, I have two GTX 550 Ti's, two gigabyte editions. And this is an ASRock motherboard. It's actually brown, but it's actually a little bit hard to tell, especially in a case like this where there's not too much lighting or anything. So it looks really nice, it's worked really well, and it's a little bit better than my last motherboard, which actually cost more money, surprisingly. And for the power supply, I got an OCZ 700 watt power supply. And for the drive, actually, I have it up there in the front, it's actually sticking out just a tad bit, is a um, 240 gigabyte SSD from G-Skill. It was an enterprise grade drive that I was able to get for a consumer price. So that was really, really a great deal. And over here, is where I got my modem actually. Now the reason I put it here is because I wasn't wanting to put it by the router because it exhausts a little bit of heat and I don't want the front intake fans to actually take it in and make my computer a little bit hotter. And plus it's really close because the coax cable sticks out right there. There's a power outlet right there and it's just really, really convenient. And see, I got the cable tied it up and everything and it's just really, really nice location to actually put that. So that was the room tour slash gaming setup. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if there's anything that I skipped out over or didn't talk about, then make sure to let me know by posting in the comment section below. And I just really wanted to do this video as a way to tell you guys how much I appreciate everything, and tell you guys thank you so much for just being so awesome. And sorry if the video I skipped out on at certain points, it might have had to do with the coloring and the brightness changing way too much throughout the video. And I really, really can't wait to do it again once we hit the next milestone. And just thank you guys so much for making this possible, and helping us hit 200 subscribers, and for just all your awesome support and everything you've given. And just thank you guys so much. And if any of you guys are new to the channel, then if there's anything you'd love to see more of, then make sure to post that in the comment section below. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.